Hey class, Mr. Moedin here with another example of triangle congruence along with CPCTC. So here we're given uh, this figure and angle X being the same as angle W. And here we have uh, an unusual given piece of information that ZY bisects angle XZW. Hmm, that might, that might show up later. Um, and we're asked to prove that XY is the same as WY, that these two longer lengths are the same, XY and WY. So, once again, seeing that this uh, is not a triangle statement, that means that CPCTC is going to be involved, although proving the triangle is congruent is required for that. So, here I've started with the given information, just to save a bit of time. Uh, once again, uh, if you've watched the previous video, you know that uh, sometimes in geometry you're given something, but it's not actually in the picture. And most of us do better, at least with a bit of a picture. So x being the same as w is given, but I don't actually see it here. So let me make sure that the given is really given. So there's that. And zy bisects uh, xzw. So this line right here is cutting, or, or segment, is cutting this angle uh, in such a way that it bisects it. So I want you to think about what that word means, because the definition of bisect is going to appear somewhere here. So right off the bat, you should notice um, that these two triangles share a side, zy, and uh, that's a pretty, you know, pretty giveaway, uh, you know, it gives away basically that these two uh, triangles are going to be using the reflexive property. So we can say that zy is the same as zy, and that's because it's well, obvious, zy is the same as itself, but the reason in mathematics for something being the same as itself, we call that the reflexive property. And it comes from the idea of reflection, and the two objects being congruent after a reflection. So that's the same as itself. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary there. We've seen that a couple times now. So I'm going to mark it because we know that both shapes have that as a side. Uh, okay, so we're not given any other angles. We're not given any other sides. Um, it'd be an assumption to say that those are the same, and we don't want to assume. So now we have to kind of unpack this statement here. Let me choose a different color to illustrate. Um, we need to unpack this statement, that zy bisects that angle. So what does it mean to bisect? The definition of bisect means to cut something in half and, and thereby create two equal pieces. So since we're cutting this angle in half, that means that these two parts around zy must be the same, right? Because that's what it means to bisect. So that's something that wasn't given, but we can figure it out. So we can now state definitively that angle XZY, the top half of this angle, is the same as angle WZY. We weren't given that fact, but we know it's true because of the definition of bisect. What does it mean to bisect? To cut and make two congruent pieces. So definition oops, of bisect. Now I've noticed in a couple of proof problems that I've, I've looked over when you guys are working, you're really only going to use definition of a word when the word is actually used in the given information. So if the given information doesn't have the word bisect in there, you're not going to use the definition of that word. It's not even part of the problem. So you only kind of use this when you're given the word in the problem. All right, so keep that in mind. Okay, so right now you might notice we have uh, two angles, uh, the, orange, the, the purple pair and the, uh, the red pair, and a pair of sides that overlap, the green pair there. So it looks like we have enough information, because three is usually enough. Uh, if you can see the shortcut, then great, but if you can't, it might help to separate them. So there's the top shape, and there's the bottom shape. We have these that were given. These are both the same in both shapes. And we just said, because of the definition of bisect, that these angles are the same. Well, my friend, that's a textbook case of two angles and a side not in between, better known as angle, angle, side. So let me use a different color here. These shapes are the same because of angle, angle, side. That's enough information. We don't have to know everything, just enough. Angle, angle, side shortcut or criteria implies that triangle, I've got to be careful with the name, X, Z, Y. So the entire top shape is the same as the entire bottom shape. Well, X matches with W, so triangle W, Z, Y. So I've proven that these two shapes in their entirety are congruence. Well, if the shapes are the same, then so are the pieces that make it up, as long as they're corresponding and in matching positions. Well, x is in the first slot, and y is in the last, and w and y. So to arrive at the proof, the thing that we 
needed to show xy is the same as wy. So we now know with certainty that these are the same length, because if those blue shapes are the same, they'd have to be the same. And that's what CPCTC is all about. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So this one had quite a bit. Uh, it looks quite a bit like one of your homework problems, so if you're having trouble with that one, hopefully this gives you some guidance. I'll see you in class.